Just what is it that you want to do? Well, we want to be free. We want to be free to, to do what we want to do. And we want to get loaded. And we want to have a good time. And that's what we're going to do. Well, wait, baby, let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi, hey guys, Todd here. <clears throat> or oh, good morning, to be specific. It's 10 o'clock in the morning where I am right now, Bonnie, Scotland, um, in my shed. And today we're going to show you something. Now, just a few days ago, I put a review up for this. This is a little, uh, little Pisces. Um, and you know, I keep forgetting which one it is. It's the Pisces M Mini. Um, 14500 mod and I, I love it really do and that's a reactor on top it's just great now this has a big brother which is this <laughs> so here's the younger version and here's the elder version uh, now straight off they are about the same height um, in this configuration uh, I got this sent on to me by Stu and Mo at schmovapes.co.uk didn't know it was coming huge surprise and over the bloody moon um, now Scott I get your 69's done a review on this and great review I agree with every single word he said and I'm thrilled to find out that it's just as good as he said it was why am I doing a review uh, am I going to add anything to what Scott's already said probably not if anything it's just my slant on it uh, but good thing to know is that uh, if you're interested in one of these you can get a, you know different points of view from different people which is always a good thing uh, right at this moment in time I have the atomic on it uh, by MCV <laughs> and I forgot I had <coughs> oh jabba uh, a pluidy type Druid I've got in there just now and it's kind of like fluid my god wrong kind of liquid to do direct lung inhales with bad Todd uh, right, enough of that uh, now what can I tell you about this start off with one thing Galileo uh, is it Yasu 75 I think made that I've owned oh, three or four of them and I loved the Galileo actually there's a new version of the Galileo the stainless steel one because the old one was an aluminium or aluminium um, and I really loved it just the, the way the configuration worked on it and it's kind of the same with this um, you know you've got so many bits to it and uh, ah, I'll just show you in the close-ups um, I'll give you some specs on it first from the site. Uh, so this is a Pisces T mechanical telescopic mod. It's uh, 314, 304 stainless steel, copper contacts throughout. Uh, it only takes 18490 to 18650 batteries. It does not take 18350s, even although it looks, I mean, that looks like it's an 18350 mod. It's not. That's an 18490 battery in there just now. It's tiny. Uh, telescopic. Got an engraved logo on the bottom, an engraved logo on the tube. And uh, as I said, for the, the M, Pisces M, it's got that finish on it that I like. It, it, it's deep engraving. But it looks like it almost like it was done by hand. But uh, Stu was telling me that apparently they've got this old machine that they use for the engraving that gives it that look, and I, I really like it. Um, I've got a serial number on it if that matters to you. Uh, what else can we tell you? B -b 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 locking ring, reverse threaded, and uh, outside diameter of the mod is 21.7. 22 devices look fine on it. Uh, height with an 18650 battery is 83, 83 and a half millimetres 
and the height using an 18490 battery is 68.5 millimetres. This works with an 18350 battery and a kick and an 18500 battery and a kick too. Well, I can't tell you about the original kick, but I would imagine it would work. It's a kick two I'm using, and it's been working fine in here. Um, right, let's just jump cut to the chase and we'll get into it. This costs £105 from Schmovapes. Finer collection of parts did you ever see? So this is it. This is what you get. Uh, once again, it comes very well wrapped uh, in a sealed plastic jiffy bag. In another jiffy bag so you know uh, no issues there right we have nothing because this is out of focus <laughs> let's try that again there we go uh, right we have the top cap we have the switch and we have the tube now uh, you can see this is a telescopic so what we'll do is we'll start off at the bottom with the switch so uh, we have a locking ring and it's reverse threaded. And you can see, hopefully, you know, got the Pisces logo in the bottom there. Pisces T number twenty-five. That's heavily engraved in there. The locking ring. The switch is just bang on. It's not too stiff, not too loose. It's bang on. Um, you have your piece of delrin in there that the battery is going to sit on. When you push the button, the copper contact comes up and touches the base, the negative post of the battery. Uh, there's a spring inside here. Very simple mechanism and it just works. That's about all I can say to that. Works very, very well. Top cap. Uh, once again, we've got copper contacts here. This is a floating pin. So, you know, when you screw your atty on, it's automatically, you know, the height of this will adjust. Uh, word, of, word of warning, uh, always put your atty on first before you tighten up the tubes. You'll see why when we get back to this. Yeah, you've got airflow here, you've got slots cut in this. I never actually know why they put slots in here but actually have a flat ring round here. Uh, you know, if I put in, a, say for example, my IATI, which needs airflow to work, if I screw it in and make it flush, it's not going to work because the actual base of the IATI makes contact with the outside rim. So, you know, the, well, personally, uh, you know, I, I don't see much point in these unless you're maybe using a 510 connector an EVOD or a, a really small device. Uh, but that's just my take on it. Uh, it doesn't affect me, but there we go. Uh, right, and then we are on to tube mods, the tube. So there we have the center section. Beautiful engraving yet again. The Pisces logo. Air hole here. And there, and there. And how it works is you just take your tubes and you just screw them on. Excuse me a second. I'm just all fingers and thumbs here. I've not had my coffee yet. Oh, there we go, Todd. And you're just going to adjust it to whatever size you want. So what we'll do is we'll stick... Uh, switch on the bottom we'll take an 18490 AWIMR battery nipple up top cap's going on battery's shuffling about in there but I want it to be like that because uh, I'm now going to take my ATTI of the Atomic Screw that on, and now I'm going to start tightening up the, the tube. Uh, the OCD in you, you're going to be wanting these to be spaced evenly. Uh, well, you don't have to, but uh, saddles like me uh, just can't help herself. Oh, does that look a bit even? Oh, 
there we go that's bang on so there we go and that's automatically because the you know the ATI was on first it's adjusted now if I wasn't to do that so if I unscrew this take the ATI off if I was to tighten this right up first and put this on it's not going to sit flush but if I back the tube off screw it down then tighten the tube up and that's it unlocker just firing away now I'm not going to show you I mean this is 18500 as I said it works in 18650 you can use an 18350 with a kick and an 18490 or an 18500 with a kick it does work uh, and that's it for the close up stuff honestly this, this thing is smallest 18500 I think I've seen it's just stunning okay what can I tell you threads the threads seem to be quite fit first off this is an incredibly light device uh, reason being so is that because of the way the telescoping works the tubes are actually the metals actually really thin um, you find that with any mod like this that the, the metal is going to be a bit thinner than normal um, but just bear that in mind that might, when you get it you might go that's really light uh, it is but uh, I prefer it um, the threading no problems with the 510 at the top um, no problems with the switch uh, I have put a little bit of no locks on the threading on the, the tube section um, it's not because it was grinding or, or anything like that I just found the initial getting it to catch at first just a wee bit not bad let's say I mean I can put this on and you know catches no problem at all and away it goes uh, I'm trying to rephrase this because I don't want to make this sound like it's a negative uh, it's not a negative there is no issue with the threading it's just something to be aware of that uh, sometimes that first thread can be a wee bit tricky to catch um, check this out this is my my beta uh, my beta mod this is what gets uh, this is what I vape on in the shed mostly um, this is a uh, this is a present that I got. It's a EH EH Pro type thing. Uh, maybe an Enzonic copy. This is it in eighteen three fifty mode. <laughs> this is crazy. This is it. This device in eighteen five hundred mode. Remember, eighteen five hundred, eighteen three fifty. <laughs> it should be the other way around it's just crazy small uh, for the battery uh, and that's crazy large um, I mean, just uh, that's all I really got in here just now to give you a comparison I mean I gave you the sizes uh, but it is a small mod um, just unlock it a second I mean, it's like it's little brother, uh, you know, it, just the copper contacts. Uh, I'm not doing a voltage drop test or anything like that. I'm going by taste and my experience. Uh, this hits well. They both hit well. Uh, they really, really do. If you haven't gathered by now, I really like this. Now, I'll go out on a limb here. I see a lot of mods, hell of a lot of mods. Just looking to see if I can show you one. And I like the vast majority of them. They all have their flaws, most of them, and they have their features. And some are better at certain things, some are better at other things. You know, and, and at the end of the day, it's all personal taste. For me, 
people ask me what mods to buy. I always have a default to my personal favourites and what I think are the best all-rounders have always been, for some time now, the Nemesis and the Roller as telescopic mods. Well, teles segmented and telescopic. Uh, but, you know, you can go through different battery sizes. This kind of, for me, is up there with them. I would wholeheartedly recommend this to anybody. That's how impressed I am with it. Um, I really like this. It's just caught me so off guard. And it does gets up high on my list, very, very high on my list of uh, WoW mods. Um, and that's the best recommendation I can give it. I could just keep prattling away here and going on about this and that and whatnot. But at the end of the day, I like the engraving. I like the switch. I love the fact that it's small in 18500 mode. And I like the adjustability. At first, I thought not being an 18350 would bug me. Uh, but because it's that size in 18500, it's just a positive. Um, yeah, the battery's going to last longer. On that note, I'm just going to stop here because I think I've said enough, to be perfectly honest. I think this is a really, really good mod. I'd like to say thank you to Stu and Mo at the Shmo Vapes for sending this on to me. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Can't thank you enough for that. Um, and it doesn't matter that I got it as a gift or, or anything. Uh, if it was crap, I would tell you it's crap. Uh, there are other reviews out there. Go and watch them. Go and read other reviews. You know, uh, watch Scott's I Get Your 69. Um, big thumbs up. I'm away. We'll catch you later on. All the best, guys. Bye now.